In this video, we'll be talking about general rules, laws, and regulations of driving in Canada. We'll also touch on driving limits in Canada. Hi guys, welcome back to Accord TV. And if you're new here, my name is Accord. And on this channel, we talk a lot about immigration plus anything and everything, including everything else. So guys, like I mentioned, we're going to talk about the, before you ignite the engine, just make sure that you have your driving license, registration documents, and insurance documents so when you're driving if at any given time or for any reason you are stopped by the police and they will ask for these documents then you have them ready to show if you don't have them trouble so just make sure you have the documents before you start driving radar detectors are not allowed no 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 not allowed not if you're driving on the canadian roads when you're driving and you need to turn either right or left, just make sure that you use indicator lights. Don't just be, you know, I'm turning right or I'm turning left and you just turn. Remember that many a times you'll have someone else following you behind. So you have to use indicator lights. So if someone is behind you, they know your intention. But if you take a turn and you don't use these indicator lights, I'm telling you, it's like there are cameras everywhere. They're going to spot you and you're going to be charged for that. You are not allowed to use your mobile phone when you are driving with exception of a hands-free system so let's say you have earphones you can just plug them into your phone and then you drive along and when someone calls you can just receive but you're driving someone calls you and you receive your phone like this that's totally unacceptable not allowed and should you try to do that you will land in trouble and trouble is what we are all trying to avoid and this is a common sense thingy because i know most countries do not allow their citizens to drive and use their mobile phones at the same time it's not allowed so when you move to canada it should be you know natural it should just be within you that you should not be driving when you're using your phone because otherwise you'll be putting your own life and other people's lives at risk whenever you're driving on a canadian road or you are a passenger you must always have your seat belt on so you as the driver if you're alone make sure your seat belt is on if you're carrying someone else in your car one two or three people just make sure that they have their seat belts in place because if you're caught you're the only one wearing a seat belt and the next person you're carrying is not wearing a seat belt then that's another problem again so just make a point of making sure that anytime you're driving you have your seat belt on and this is something that we should all be doing you know not necessarily only when you're driving in canada even from your own country you should always be having your seat belt on because then god forbid should something go wrong then at least you you are safe you know you are safe not a hundred percent safe but a seat belt will give you some 50 percent safety you know what i'm talking about what i have seen most of the time what i've witnessed drivers <laughs> let me just make a reference with kenya most of them will never give pedestrians an opportunity to cross the road and imagine this is a zebra crossing point and you as a driver you will just come and drive through without even paying attention that this is a zebra crossing space pedestrians have the right to cross you know most of what i've seen with kenyan drivers they don't give pedestrians time for an opportunity to cross the road most of the time it's up to the pedestrian to wait for the cars to pass until there's no any other car in the vicinity then you can cross the road that is not allowed in canada if it's time for the pedestrians to cross the road you have to give them an opportunity to cross the road as a responsible driver you're expected to stop let the pedestrians cross all of them then you can go but if you just go then you're simply beckoning for some trouble to come your way if you need to overtake while driving on the canadian roads just make sure that you are overtaking whoever you're overtaking from their left hand side do not overtake from their right hand side always make sure that you need to overtake which is necessary most of the time when you're driving you'll find that someone is driving a bit slowly and you just need to get going you need to overtake just make sure that you're overtaking them from their left and not their right please don't forget always overtake from their left and not from their right that is what the rule says another thing remember that vehicles are supposed to drive on the right side of the road i don't know how you guys drive in your home country but when you're in canada just remember that vehicles are meant to drive on the right side of the road and not on the left so let's talk about the driving speed limits frequent speed checks are carried out by the authorities in canada using radars 
speed traps and speed cameras to ensure that speed limits are obeyed by motorists. If you're driving within the urban areas, then your speed limit should be 50 kilometers per hour. If you're driving in the rural roads, then your speed limit should be between 60 and 80 kilometers per hour. If you're on the motorways, then the speed limit should be between 80 and 800 kilometers per hour. Drink driving is a penalty in Canada. Heavy penalties apply to drivers found to be over the allowable prescribed limit of 0.08 mg per 100 ml of blood. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.